Hi, this is Lynn Suzek and this is Faith Talk. Today's gonna be a little different. Um, I, I really feel led to talk about, I've been thinking about my book. Okay, this has been out for a while. First wash the inside. So I got a, a picture of a cup, like a coffee cup being washed with suds. And it's, um, it's a book I wrote regarding some things that happened a long time ago and it's um, becoming, the subject is becoming more, um, a lot of more people are writing books about it. it. It's, I believe it's very necessary to talk about. Okay, so actually this is a rebuttal because now it's been out for a while. Some people misunderstand some of the things I've said. So I thought it would be good to talk about. I'm calling this uh, religion. Sorry about the bright lights. It's the, it's the evening and the lights, the brightness of the sun is ridiculous. So religion and smoking and drinking. Okay, so I'm not, um, in any way promoting smoking and drinking, but you have to understand what legalism, the damage that legalism does to people, and that's in the religious mindset, and people are starting to realize this, because it's not the gospel. Religion is not what Jesus came to give us. He came to set us free from religion, and my book, first wash the inside which you can find on Amazon in there it talks about um, my journey away from legalistic thinking which was um, we we got born again and spirit-filled after being a certain religion and then the legalism kind of still was there in our hearts so we became legalistic and it kind of ruined our little church and did a lot of damage to our children. And then I really did a lot of reflecting and you know, it became really judgmental. I'm sure none of you know what I'm talking about. You're not, let's see, everybody's judgmental, right? So we became so judgmental and I would talk about that, how it happened in the first couple chapters and how we had the best of intentions but how wrong it was, how hypocritical we became, which everyone usually is, because of the focus on actions. And the focus of Christianity, the, the gospel is um, all about being saved by grace, with, through faith, and um, what, what I'm getting lately is people getting disappointed in the book, my, my story, because I talk about how I broke out of judge, judgmentalism through realizing that sin is not in our actions. And um, my conversation with God had to do with um, breaking free from thinking and action is a sin. So there was, um, I had never been a smoker or a drinker, okay? And I didn't have any problems with any of that. But the addictions are where the problem is, not the, the, the single act of anything like that. So at some point I was um, breaking myself of the way I had become so judgmental towards even the best of people, like nobody was living up to the right standards. We had become so legalistic, you know, we thought some people in the, the same church, you know, we all had different rules. Some people had long dresses, they thought no makeup, you know, some people were deciding this was biblical, some people were wearing head coverings, some people were, and then they were judging everyone else because that's what the scriptures said, quote unquote. 
And then um, when I broke free from all that, I, I didn't use my grace to become sinful. I, can't, I broke my legalistic thinking by doing some things that I had been judging. So there was a time where I smoked, but not as an addiction by any means. And the drinking is another thing I bring up, just having a, having a beer or something with somebody is an ascent. It's the, um, it's the addiction and the, you know, food, for instance. How many people are addicted to food and be and overweight and gluttonous? And it's all under the same grace. There's no, we shouldn't be controlled by anything, food, drinking, or smoking. So how can you be having struggle with your weight and judge people who are smoking, right? It's not, it's the same thing. So anyway, I explain a lot of that in my um, book and legalistic people, religious people if, that aren't ready for this think ju they're judging that I, I'm saying I was so, you know, I just used um, grace as an excuse to sin. But uh, hey, I wasn't interested in, um, that is not how it says it at all. So if you're trying to break free, I'm not even telling you this is what you do. <laughs> I was just telling you my story. So this one's called First Wash the Inside, Correcting Legalistic and Harmful Behavior. So legalism is going back to the law and that brings you, that, that means you're in sin again because you gave up your grace rights, your grace card. And harmful behavior is really the things that sin is. So um, there's a balance. It's all, you know, the object is to be spirit led, not under a bunch of rules about what to do and what not to do. And when you start judging people, well, people, mostly people do judge people by, that's not Christian, you know, but it's all, sin is not in your actions, it's in our heart, but it's all covered by grace so that we can go on to live the lives that God intended to be spirit led and not led by what's, you know, quote, right and wrong or, you know, to do. The Spirit guides us, the Holy Spirit guides us, and we need to be willing to do the things that He's guiding us to do. It is so bright out here. I've got to see where I am now. It's, it's ridiculous. Okay, eight minutes. So, um, so breaking free from religion is one thing and breaking free from an addiction to, so, or like pornography or things that are destroying your life um, be it cigarettes drugs pornography alcohol those things can destroy your life avoiding um, the addiction is a matter of looking at what's in your heart and that's what this book talks about so explaining that to a person that's not willing to or able to see the trueness of God's grace and what that's all about is um, kind of pointless. So I just wanted to bring that up because it's uh, misunderstood in my book and if you're looking to break free from legalism and from the religious thinking and you've been seeing a lot of that and you know that's not correct, then you would want to get my book and see for yourself. So thanks and I will talk to you next time.